begin our live coverage tonight from Tempe with Chris Fowler. Chris? Charlie, I'll bring you back a bag of corn chips, plenty of them to go around. You know, only in the last 24 hours has this really begun to feel like a monster event. Five plane loads full of Gator fans arriving yesterday. This morning, tens of thousands of people on the street. A, a mountain behind us with a guy on top waving a big red Nebraska flag and a white end and hundreds of fans below cheering him on. We'll talk all about the compelling matchups in this game in the next hour and a half. But the cynics among you may say it's not really about the fans and their spirit or college football. It's about corporate money. So Gators just arrived million. behind me. If you take a look back, you see a lot of the Florida players just milling around, soaking up some atmosphere. And you want to note on who's the home crowd feel for this game? Plain and simple, as you see the Gators arriving and pulling up here at Sun Devil Stadium just a couple of minutes ago. The Gators are on the field behind me right now, and there hasn't been a peep out of the crowd. If Nebraska was here, it would be so loud. Craig James, the birthday boy, joined me. Guys, they haven't played in overtime, so how do you figure out who has the edge if it goes to OT? Well, Chris, if it is a tie game and it goes to overtime, I think Florida has the advantage. The reason Florida has scored more touchdowns in the title zone than Nebraska this year, Craig. Well, when you get to the fourth quarter, both these ball clubs are used to knocking people out. Look at the average score. Nebraska, 39-9. Florida, 38-12. And what does this mean? Mentally, you've got to be prepared to play in the fourth quarter. If if it is close, will you be able to handle a distraction? As for Nebraska, remember this. Their true freshman kicker, Chris Brown, is exceptional. Bart Edmiston, he has not been as successful as has Brown. And the home crowd advantage certainly will help a young freshman kicker if he has to kick a fourth quarter field goal. Remember, it's not how many field goal kickers they make, the kickers make, it's when they make them. Remember Bentley a couple years ago? made it to win the ball game. Exactly. Chris Brown, the freshman, never kicked a field goal off grass in his college They also career. call all the offensive plays. I think if it gets to the fourth quarter, I think the advantage goes to Nebraska and to Tom Osborne. He has been in really, really big games, Craig. And remember, Miami, fourth quarter last year, called almost a perfect game to win it. Yeah, but remember this here about that coaching in the fourth quarter. The SEC is a pretty tough conference. They have a conference championship game. If you play in that game, you've got to get after it. You have to get geared up. The coaching staff at Florida will match wits with Nebraska. As for Steve Spurrier in that interview there, hey, I agree with the guy. There are a lot of players around the country that I talk to, high school players that want to play for Steve Spurrier because they know they have a chance to be successful. When you have quarterbacks and skilled players wanting to play for a school, you have built something very, very good. So you give the red zone edge to Spurrier the fourth to quarter. Feel the heat, ball. aren't you? I think you have to say that Nebraska <laughs> is here, Bob, and, and certainly wearing red as we approach another beautiful sunset here in Arizona. The moment almost at hand. We go back across the street to Steve Cipher. Steve? Chris, the Huskers arrived about 15 minutes ago, and they were greeted by many fans wearing the big red, and they were cheering their Huskers getting off that bus. They better get used to it tonight, though, because if you just look around in the stadium, it looks like there's about four to five times as much red as there is orange and blue. Now let's go over to Mike Tirico to talk about Florida. Yes, Steve, I spoke to some of the Florida freshmen who aren't dressed. They said, man, I didn't know the bowl game was a road game. This place is all red. The field's a little damp, By the time, way. the Huskers <laughs> experienced a home field That's advantage right, in the yeah. bowl. They've been going down to Florida all those years. They won at Miami last year. I'm going to ask you two guys to do what's been impossible so far this year. Draw up a plan to beat both the Huskers and the Gators. Okay, if I was coaching against Florida, this is what I'd do. To beat Florida on offense, I'd run right at them. I'd try to negate their speed. I'd keep the ball away from them. Remember, Mississippi used this exact same plan and held the Gators to 28 points. It can work. Now on defense, LSU had a nice plan. They bumped and run the wideouts. They noticed at the top of the screen, they ran with them, but they got a free safety to come out right there. I would use that, Craig, because I try to disrupt the patterns and have a guy sneaking around in the back. Yeah, and if I'm coaching against this guy here, he prays a lot. I'd better be praying a lot, too, if I'm a defensive coordinator. One thing they did against Kansas State, a very good passing team, played soft and as soon as the receivers caught the ball, they kept them in front. Boom! You got to hit them. You cannot allow them to get yards after the catch or they'll knock you out. To beat Nebraska, what I'd do is I'd attack Tommy Fraser. Watch him. Come down the line. Boom! Hit him. Toss it. Make it a toss play. Run to it. Remember, this game is played on grass, not artificial turf. And then I would use a lot of a Colorado's plan of throwing underneath to the linebackers. Break the tackles of the linebackers. That's the way I would attack Nebraska. Well, and if you're going to attack Nebraska and you're running against them you go up the middle of the field they have so much team speed there's no way you can get to the sidelines on them Colorado did this we talk about Rick Neuheisel he's a smart young man therefore I would try to imitate him as best I could I'll agree with you on the deal you've got to go bump and run with these guys but you got to have help overneath and you've got to knock Tommy Frazier away from that do not allow him to beat you around the corner on the option you guys make it sound so easy remember none of those things have been successfully 
they've done so far this year. Chicken Nebraska hat on his head, and he doesn't know what to do. Later on, his mom came over, took the hat off, and made him step on it. You know, the player